Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. I'm Vincent Chan. So today we are going to study another another type of filter、uh, called two integrated loop technique. It's also called the Toe Thomas biquadratic filter. Toe Thomas biquad filters part one two integrated loop basics. Two integrated loop basics. Second order filter. Let's start with、uh, the second order filter function.、Uh, the standard form. The high, pa high pass. The denominator poly polynomial s square s omega zero over q plus omega zero square. If you just bring up the second order, it becomes the high pass, and then bring up. The first order, and then it becomes the band pass, and the constant term it turns into a low pass filter. The second order, first order, and the constant term, high pass, band pass, and the low pass. Let's just focus on the high pass function. So let's say I have a high pass filter. The input signal, just picture this in your mind. The input is VI, output is called VHP. So the VHP represent the output of the high pass、uh, filter, but the B two B two represent what? Represent the high frequency gain. The high pass filter, the high frequency gain. All right. So it's a、uh, Band pass transfer function, the green highlight, but with the high frequency gain of B two. Okay, so now you are going to be a little bit、uh, confused in the next、uh, a couple of minutes. Okay, but just bear with me for the next a、uh, couple of minutes. If you hang on <laughs> to the third or fourth minutes, I'm sure you will understand. All right, and then okay. So just bear with me for a several、uh, ugly part. Part, okay. So this is the equivalent, right? So you just you just a product, okay. Just cross, and then VHP S squared, and then what equals what equals this VI B two S squared. V I B two and S square. That's equivalent. Ah,、uh, this comes from a high pass transfer function. Just remember this. This ugly equation comes from <laughs> the high high pass transfer function. And then let's do a, a uglier, okay, like this. Let me just. I'll take out my my video my、uh, personal. Uh, shot, and then this is equivalent, right? And this is also uh, uh, more ugly.、Uh, the equation comes from what the high pass transfer function, high pass transfer function. So now I'm going to simulate this ugly function. What's this? I'm going to use a block diagram. A block diagram to simulate this、uh, analog computation. This is the analog computation equation. Analog computation. So I'm going to simulate this analog computation. So what's this? What this highlight reminds you of? Negative omega zero of s. You're supposed to be very familiar with this. When you see this, it reminds you of this, right? Inverting integrator. Why? Negative z two over z one. So negative one over z two is one over s c. Z one is r. So one over s r c. Omega zero is defined as the inverse of the time constant. So the first integrator, and then it happens the second time. So you need another integrator, two integrator. Okay, two integrator. So VHP 
maybe I was lying to you. So <laughs> obviously, a couple of minutes is not long enough. So you just bear with me another uh, a couple of minutes, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. And then VHP, but I promise you this is interesting. The circuit is interesting. So VHP, this is the VHP, the voltage VHP, and then what? Then you, if you going through, let the VHP go through an integrator, then you will create this turn, right? And if you let this green signal going through another integrator, you will create the blue turn. And then what? So now two integrator has been used. So now pay attention to the coefficient. For the green coefficient is one over Q. And the coefficient of the blue is negative one. But VI also have another coefficient called B2. VI needs to be multiplied by another coefficient of B2. And then orange, blue, and green add together. So you need an adder, a summer, an adder, and it goes to what? The sum of the three, green, blue, orange, goes to VS, VHP. Okay, time is up. Time is up. So what did you learn? What's the point? The block diagram you just are looking at right now represent what? What's the point? Tells you what? This is the block diagram of what? This is the block diagram of a very interesting universal universal filter. Okay? Why? Because if you simulate this analog computation, you actually simulate this green equation, right? But what's the parent? What's the parent of this green equation? Where this equation comes from? Remember, where this equation comes from? It comes from, it comes from a high pass transfer function. That means the variable VHP over VI equals a standard high pass, second order high pass transfer function with a high frequency gain of B2, right? In other words, if you fit VI from the left, left, and you form this kind of, two, use two integrator form this kind of loop, and then the signal is taken out from the VHP, it will be what kind of output? High pass output. So this is actually a block diagram of a high pass filter. We actually has implemented, realized a high pass filter. And then if VHP is a high pass, I already explained this question mark. What does that mean? I already explained this. Let's move on. Because I said it comes from this and it comes from this. <laughs> this is what I just said. I talk about the parents of this. I talk about, let me go back. I talk about what's the parent of this, where this equation comes from. It comes from here, right? High pass transfer function. So it's actually a high pass filter. So more than that, if VHP realizes a high pass, represent a high pass. If VHP represent a high pass and just put aside the negative and the omega zero, you let the VHP signal times the one over S. That means the blue the green signal over VI it's proportional to S, right? It represents a band pass. If green represents a band pass, put the omega zero and the negative sign aside. 
you let this signal times the 1 over s. That means the transfer function of the blue over vi, the blue output over vi. Its numerator will be a constant. It represents a low pass. So it's a universal filter. So it's a block diagram of a universal filter. If you taken, if the signal is taken from the output of the adder, A D D E R of the summer, then it will give you a high pass filter function. It's a high pass output. If the output is taken from the first integrator output, then give you a band pass function. If the output is taken from the second integrator, it will give you a low pass. And this integrate three types of filter function into one universal structure. It's invented by Toe Thomas. It's called Toe Thomas Biquad. And this foundation is you build a feedback, kind of multiple feedback loop with the two integrator. So it's also called the two integrator loop technique. Interesting lecture. So in the next lecture video, I'm going to teach you, uh, just elaborate and go uh, a little bit deeper and, uh, and try to apply this to the active filter design. Thanks for watching.